Oye, Teresa. You're doing this today? Of all days, huh? ¿Cómo es posible? Tú tienes una oportunidad para hacer bien en la vida con esta alta posición. Y lo único que piensas es en tu egoísmo, Teresa. Mama. Don't I... Mama, me. Have you lost your mind? Have you? Ethan and Gwen are married. And they have a real marriage, not the mockery of the sacrament that you and Alistair did. They love each other, Teresa, and here you are trying to split them up. And you're using Alistair's hidden cameras to spy on them? Well, you're enjoying yourself. Oh, my God, you are no better than Alistair. You truly are Mrs. Alistair Crane. No, I am nothing like Alistair, Mom. Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. Let me tell you something, Teresa. Power corrupts the soul. I am the same woman that I've always been. Then I don't like that woman. I'm trying to get back what was stolen from me, Mama. My daughter. The man that I love who loves me. You just never give up, do you? Father Lonigan is going to be here soon. Please talk to him. No, I'm not going to talk to Father Lonigan. And you can't say a word of this to anyone. ¿Cómo es posible, Teresa? After everything that you've witnessed, you saw how I lost your father to Catherine. And I would think that you would have some, I don't know, some empathy, Teresa. How can you do this to another woman? Gwen is not another woman, Mama. She's a conniving witch. And my situation is very, very different than yours. You are blind. No, I'm not blind. Ethan loves me. He tells me that he loves me. He just doesn't know how to get rid of the millstone around his neck. And I am giving him the opportunity to leave Gwen so that he can be happy with the woman that he really loves. Yeah, you. Right? You call a spade a spade, Mrs. Crane. Bottom line is you're stealing another woman's husband. And it's shameful and it is a sin. When a thief steals your purse... And you have the chance to steal it back. You do it. Gwen stole Ethan and my daughter from me. And I'm not going to stop until I get them both back. Keep up the good work, Gwen. Excuse me while I finish this call. Yes, uh, everything is going according to plan. You have nothing to worry about. Good. Now keep Gwen busy, because I'm off to see Eve, and I don't want her showing up and ruining my day. I don't understand. You don't need to. You're being paid to keep her busy. Do it. Oh, yes, uh, of course, sir. Business is business. Uh, Mr. Collier, when you get a moment, I, I think the valuation of this company you want to acquire is, is way off. One second, Gwen. Your wish is my command, sir. Goodbye. Right where I want her. Look at all those files. She's gonna be working till midnight. I mean, that's that's if she's lucky. You know what? You are exactly like that other Mrs. Crane, Catherine. Right. All the Mrs. Cranes try to steal other women's husbands. Turn it off, please. I can't stand to watch you become the new Alistair. That's not funny. It's not funny. Then what do you call it? You're using his tools, his threats? You bribed that Mr. Collier to give Gwen a job that would keep her so busy that she would be away from her family. That way, she wouldn't interrupt you while you tried to steal her husband. Oh, my God. And today, you're doing this on a day when I'm going to renew my vows with your father. I'm not like Alistair. No, but then you're just like Catherine. No, I am not like Catherine either, Mama. She is trying to ruin a real marriage. I'm not. Teresita, you can lie to yourself all you want. But what we're talking about here is marriage. I don't care what got Ethan and Gwen to the altar. The fact is they're married. And marriage is sacred. Marriage is only sacred if it's based on love. What nonsense is that? You can twist the truth around any way you like it, Teresa. But you cannot deny that Ethan... 
loves Gwen. No. Not the way that he loves me. I'm the woman in his heart. And every day that he stays with Gwen, he's living a lie. 